Um, and this is sort of to get a specific tip for somebody learning um, uh, French. They um, are specifically asking sort of how do they bridge the gap between graded readers and native like content. They're currently doing B1-ish level graded readers with, in French with audio and have, finding them very easy, right? There's hardly any challenge there and they're able to engage with them and read them very easily. But a native like novel is very, very difficult to the point where it's almost impossible for them to really make it through um, in a way that is satisfying to them. And so this is a sort of a quick um, tips and tricks that you suggest for how to how they can get unstuck and level up their their routine and immersion and continue to grow into that um, future fluency. Sure. Uh, B1 is a pretty low level, so it's not surprising that it's hard to make that jump to real novels. Um, there are higher level graded readers, B2, C1, C2. Um, in Japanese in particular, like one of the great readers uh, that we recommend is the Sakura reader, and the highest level one of those has 4,500 words in it. I've seen ones in Mandarin that go up to you know 3,000, 4,000 words. So uh, there are higher level graded readers, so you can keep climbing that staircase. Uh, when you get into native content, there's easier native content and harder native content. Um, books for children 10 years old, 12 years old, maybe up to like 14, 15 year old. Um, those are great sources of uh, content. Uh, in particular, I saw somebody on YouTube recommend uh, Goosebumps as just like a great mm. book. And one of our French clients actually recently went through a uh, Goosebumps book and it took him forever, right? It took him like seven hours to get through it. Um, and, but afterwards his, his comprehension jumped uh, hugely across all domains of content. So one of the things that I would um, just, one of the things that is beneficial is struggling through a piece of content. Mm -hmm. Even if you can't understand everything, even if you need to use lookups, even if there are periods of time when you're just like reading and you don't understand what's going on, the act of pushing yourself way outside of your comfort zone will drastically increase your ability, even if it's uh, painful and, and challenging um and Walking mentally that's glass. It. yeah um and it is worth doing so you know a novel might be super hard for you right now but if you can find a relatively short novel you know 100 pages um even if it's too hard for you it's only 100 pages and if you can get through that your ability is going to be substantially better than uh it was prior to going through it Mm -hmm. And so don't ever expect to feel ready to jump into novels. Uh, at some point, you just got to do it and you got to push through that one. And your first novel, no matter how much you've prepared for it, your first novel is going to be really hard. And there's nothing you can really do about that. So accept that as part of the experience, you can do a lot of prep to like make it less hard, but it's still going to be hard. Um, accept the difficulty of that experience. Understand that by going through that experience, you will be much better coming out of it. Um, Doesn't but then also, <laughs> exactly. But then also understand that uh, you can reduce the difficulty. You don't need to jump into like, yeah. you know, war and peace um, <laughs> on, as your first novel. That would be a, 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 not a good choice. Um, goosebumps, great choice. Yeah. Aren't those like the same? Isn't that just like the same, same level of difficulty? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs>